If you haven't started thinking about your retirement, it is never too late to start. Two of the most common types of retirement savings accounts for Americans is a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA. But which is the best choice for you if you're gearing up for your goals and years? We have the answer. Reporter for Yahoo Finance, Melody Hom, joins me now to talk a little bit about this. So people know about, you know, sort of their mainstream uh, investment vehicles. I think people see Roth IRA, but they don't know what it is. So what's the difference between a Roth IRA and a traditional IRA? Yeah, and like you just mentioned, 401ks right. are what, what a lot of full-time employees can actually use, and their employer matches their contributions a lot of the time. The key thing with IRAs in general is that it's for independence. So a lot of people who are freelance, who are consultants, who might not be able to get something through an employer, this right. is the best option. The key difference between the two is that Roth IRAs are for people who are want to be more flexible, who want to be able to tap in and get their contributions out if they need to buy a home, ah. if they need to fund their children's education, and it's all related to taxes. Okay. So with Roth IRAs, all of it is tax-free when you are, it's all taxed contributions that you're putting like in. after tax After tax income. income. Right. Whereas with a traditional IRA, at the end, you will be taxed. So depending on your income bracket, which tends to be a bit higher mm -hmm. when you're retiring later on, mm. um, a traditional IRA might end up being a, a huge uh, burden for a lot of people. So especially for younger folks, if you're in your 30s, a Roth IRA is really uh, the desirable option, especially because you're being taxed on the income right now, yeah. and many times you're a Henry, which is a high earner, not rich yet, so you tend to fall in the lower oh tax bracket. <laughs> yeah. You know, I mean, yeah. I love the acronyms, yeah, uh, but it's those sorts of people who would benefit greatly from investing in a, in a Roth versus a traditional. Are they risky? They are not risky. Okay. If we're seeing uh, an average of around 7% return per year, mm -hmm. so and the maximum contribution is $5,500 a year, which if you think about it, is not that much. It really just takes discipline. So if you do $5,500 a year, every year for 35 years, that's almost $900,000 by the time you reach 65 years old. That will make a huge difference that in will. your retirement plan. That's the difference Night and day. a staycation and, and a, a nice cruise, exactly. right, for your retirement. Um, but you, like you mentioned before, people already have, you know, uh, investment vehicles through their um, employer, stuff like that. So why would you then take on an IRA? I think it's just to accrue, it's almost like people have savings accounts on the side right. to make sure that there is an alternative. And with 401k, oftentimes actually the traditional IRA mm. is a rollover of a 401k plan from a previous employer. Mm. So say you actually lose your job or you end up switching jobs and they don't offer a 401k plan, it's a great way to convert your right. existing one into an IRA. And if you need that money, you can get access exactly. to it. Should, should you max out with your IRA? I think if you can afford to yeah. and if you have the means to, by all means, and it's the same with a 401k, right. if you have the ability and if you're young and I know right now it doesn't seem like it's on the horizon if you're in your 30s or 40s mm -hmm. or honestly even 50s, mm -hmm. but you have to start and the, the sooner you start and put in a lot, the better the returns so will be. So my, my question is going to be when should you start, but you're now. saying as soon as you right. <laughs> Yesterday. Right. And I think a lot of people when they take on their first jobs, they're like, you know, this isn't going to be my forever job. I don't know. Right. And Look I'm, into not, your, making, I'm, I'm not, not making, making a lot of money, money. So I don't have enough to spare to put into to put aside. investment. Yeah. But at the same time, if you do $30, $50, $80 a month, and it uh, automatically comes out of your paycheck, especially with 401ks, that's the best option out there for you. Mm -hmm. So I think the earlier you start, the better your rewards will be later on. You need to have that foresight. What about people who haven't started and they're sort of hitting their 40s and 50s and they think, ugh, it's, it's too late for me? I think the traditional IRA is the best bet. Mm -hmm. And again, $5,500 maximum a year. I know it won't accrue to as mm -hmm. much as when what I just mentioned, yeah. almost $900,000 if you start when you're 30, but I think it will make a difference if you even see 5% returns over a year. It's all good advice, Melody Hom. Thank you so much. Thank you so much.